Tonight, still no explanation for the massive nationwide cell phone outage. AT&T, one of the largest wireless carriers in the country, going down early this morning for some customers, unable to send or receive any calls or texts. As soon as I woke up this morning, it was gone. The outage lasting for hours. Didn't have any service. I need to make some phone calls. The company saying wireless service is now fully restored, but the FBI and Department of Homeland Security are investigating. The bureau saying should we learn of any malicious activity, we will respond accordingly. I think a lot of people right now are asking, how does something like this happen? Unfortunately, the technologies that we use are becoming increasingly complicated. This highlights the dependencies we have on very complex systems. Some emergency departments urging people not to call 911 unnecessarily. Massachusetts State Police saying they were flooded with calls that clogged their system as people tried to test their phones. Lexington 911, where's your emergency? This Kentucky 911 dispatch center had normal call volume this morning, but says today's outage is a good reminder to have alternate modes of communication. It's not a bad idea to have a landline, uh, a landline available. The outage impacting people from coast to coast. My my messages weren't sending, like I wasn't getting anything. Today's my birthday, so I want to call my mom and stuff. In Los Angeles, Uber driver Time Johnson feeling a difference during the morning commute. What have you noticed? It's just been really, really slow. So I'm thinking it may be the outages because people can't order right. their Ubers. Security experts saying the situation reveals potential vulnerabilities. I think it does show, though, that we need to really be thoughtful about, as we adopt these technologies, as we become dependent upon them, that there are fail-safes, that there are rollovers. A stark reminder as our reliance on technology only grows. Liz, what has AT&T said about what happened? Well, Lester, the company says they're still investigating. They have not given a cause for the outage. There is no indication, though, that this was a cyber attack. Several federal agencies, including the FCC now, are working with AT&T to try to figure out what happened. Lester. All right, Liz Croyd starting us off. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.